So here's a new Revit tutorial. In today's session, we're gonna focus on roofs. So how could we create different types of roofs? Uh, so I just opened a new Revit project and then I created um, uh, a small room, which is five by five. And then I want to copy this room four times. So I'll just select it, we'll do a big window, I select it all. And then I will type CO to copy it. So I'll copy it multiple times five times okay good and then if i go to architecture roof which is a shortcut is rf and then it will tell me where do you want to create this roof so i'm now currently on level zero that means that my roof would be on level one and then i created this walls connected also to level one so just select yes and then if i start to draw my roof so if i just grab the rectangle tool and then I would basically take an offset one meter. So all my units are in meter. I'll take one meter. And then if I select the starting point and the end point here with an offset one. So I would create, a, let's say, a border surrounded, surrounded these walls, which would be my roof. So basically, if I come here, I will find something called... If I select this side, so I'll find something called define slopes. If I tick that, that means that I will have slope in here. So the first roof type I will create is actually a hip roof. So if I just select finish edit mode now, and then I go to the 3D, so I find that I created a hip roof. Okay, is that clear? This is the first type. And then if I go to level one again, I can see my roof over there. I return back to level zero. And then let me create the second type. So if I do the same process again, I go to architecture, roof. So architecture, escape this, architecture, roof. Yes, level one. And then I bring my rectangular tool from here i type offset one meter again and then i pick the starting point and the ending point and this time i will let me check both of these and then i will uncheck define slopes okay so now i will create a not a different type of roof, which is a gimbal roof you see that I could also change the slope um, percentage from here. So it's now 30%. I could change it to 45 if I want to, or keep it at 30%. And then I will tick finish edit modes. Mm -hmm. So if I go now to the 3D, I find that I created my roof, but basically my walls are not attached to the roof. So if I come with my cursor near to one of the walls, and then select tab key, select them all, and then attach top to base. So I select the roof. So they are all now attached to my roof. So the walls are all attached to my roof now. Okay, is that clear? Okay, let's draw the third type. So um, if I go back again and then select roof, level one, and select the rectangle tool, and then type one meter and then this time i would also start from this point to this point but i will uncheck the three sides from the define slope from here i will uncheck define slope and keep it only one on one side In this case is this side if i select now finish edit mode i go to the to my 3d so I found myself that I created a mono pitch roof. So if I again select these and then attach top to base, as you can see, I created a mono pitch roof. If I want to change, let's say the inclination or the percentage from here, I could go back to level one, select the roof, let edit footprint, select the side, and I could change that if I want to 20 degrees, for instance. Finish mode, 
if I go to the 3D point, I bring it down to 20 degrees. If I go from here at the boundary and I edit that, I could also edit it from here. So if I change that to 10 degrees, for instance, 10 finish mode, you will find that it's changed. Okay. You could raise it as well from here, bring it down as well from here. Okay, clear. Okay, good. Then let's go to level zero again and then select roof again level one and then i would select the rectangle tool type offset one meter go from the starting point to end point select them all now and then untick the fine slow so go to the 3d so in this case i created a flat roof okay okay so let's come to a different type of roof which is a roof by face so if i select one of my elevations like this one for instance okay and then what I need to do is that I need to create, um, I need to select from here roof, roof by extrusion. Pick a plan, it's this one, this elevation, yes. And then I will draw uh, my roof in here. So I will draw kind of an elevation or a section of my roof to create this roof. So if I type if I created a, an arch like this, for instance, okay, and then I select finish edit mode, I go to my 3D, find oh wow, so I will bring this down like this, okay, yeah, bring it till the end of my wall, and then if I with my tab key select the walls like this, attach top. To base I select this now I go to edit type I could change the roof type from here to different types of roofs if I want to change that to glazed I could do so and then I go to edit type from here and I go to edit so I select uh, system panel glazed drawing connector say border and grid continuous and then I will select from here grid one, fixed distance, grid two, fixed distance. And I will select uh, one meter, I will type one meter, type one meter. And then I will uh, put some onions. Okay, okay, so as you can see, I created a curved roof. Okay, okay, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.